morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'd like to read you a verse, please, from chapter John chapter 7, verse 37. It says this, In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. And the heading I've given to my thought this morning is this, All your needs met through Christ. All your needs met through Christ. Christ, on the last day of the feast, pleaded with the Jews, just as he pleads with us on this last day of this year. Isn't that amazing? He pleads with us because he wants to be gracious to us. He wants to meet every need of every person that is listening this morning. His longing, his long-suffering is amazing, friends. As he puts up with you and he puts up with me year after year after year, despite our rebellion, despite our resistance to the Holy Spirit, still he waits in his mercy to bless and to hear you call upon him. We see his mercy expressed, friends, as he cries. If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He is forever calling you and I to himself. Surely, friends, at the sound of his cry, we should run to him. Where else would we desire to go? For he has made provision for everything that a man or a woman needs to quench their soul's thirst. To the conscience, Jesus brings peace through the revelation of the gospel. Jesus brings hope to his heart. Jesus brings love. And if the soul is utterly famished, Jesus can satisfy it and restore it. We are shown in our text that all who are thirsty are welcome. No other distinction is made, only that of thirst. Whether it be the thirst of greed, ambition, pleasure, knowledge, rest, the one who suffers from this thirst is invited to come and to Jesus. Come to Jesus and he will quench that thirst. Come to Jesus and be satisfied. You see, there is no respect of persons, poor, rich, educated, wise, unwise, whosoever will is welcomed. Do you notice it said on the last day of the feast, Jesus made his plea. It was the last day. Is it your last day? Is it your opportunity that you'll hear the voice of God? Is it the last opportunity that God will speak to you? Has he called unto you time and time before? Has he pleaded with you and again on this day, at the end of the year, he pleads again? Don't ignore him, friends, for it is today that is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. And we must come to him who bore our sins in his own body upon the cross. There is no preparation needed by yourself, for he has provided all that we need. And he cries to you, who are listening this day, he cries out to you to come. What a wonderful word that word is, come. Many will tell you to go. Many will say they have no time for you. Many will say they're finished with you. But he has time and time again said to you, come, come. He has time for you today. He can prepare you for all time and eternity. He says, come, come and drink of him. We'll meet your thirst for life and enjoy life in all its fullness. End this year, friends, drinking of Christ and receive life from the one who gave his life for you. Life for all eternity, life in his fullness. Oh, on this last day of the year, may you find him and may he be with you throughout the year that lays ahead. God bless you and I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.